Hi, my name is Eugene Kappen. This is Kappen Design TV. Welcome to the show. Today we're going to be talking about Element 3D and how to bring in particle effects into your scenes. Now, <coughs> unless you're like doing a mass replication of different 3D models inside of After Effects, there really isn't a particle system. And that's fine. But let's use the system against itself. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to show you guys how to bring in particles inside of After Effects without actually using a particle system inside of After Effects. So I do have a scene right here. And it, as you go through, you can see this Legend of Zelda Ruby and little energy wisps come up from the ground. It's magically delicious. And it was actually really easy to put this in. Now, if I go through with like uh, my camera rotation tool, that is not my camera rotation tool at all. So even if I go through, you can see that the ring of particles is still perfectly around our Legend of Zelda Ruby. And the way I did this is I made another layer with particles. And this is just a simple CC particle world effect. Uh, I made the dimensions two by one. So it is 2000 wide, 1000 high. And then I just got the particles looking how I wanted them to look. Not so much that it, you know, goes off the top. It doesn't really feather off the sides or off the off the ground or anything. And then I just took it and I dropped it into my After Effects composition. So if I bring it up, you can see it. And then if I go into my Element 3D scene, uh, you can see some grass and you can see some walls. And once you get down here, you can see the particles inside the scene. And you're like, Eugene, I thought you said we couldn't bring particles in. I'm like, yes, that's true. But what you can do is get a, a 3D object And apply the particles as a UV skin. Whoop. Just like that. And then once it's applied, you go all the way down to advanced. Go from normal to screen. And all the black stuff will disappear. Pretty sneaky, huh? How do you, how do you take the layer and how do you apply it to the, to, as a skin? How, how, how do you do that? Well, it's very simple. Random person on the internet... I'm just going to go to custom layers, custom textures, and then layer one, particles. Simple as that. Boom. And then once you have it looking the way you want it to, slow motion particles. Easy, easy stuff. Um, then you're done. You've mastered particles being attached to your 3D objects inside of Element 3D. Right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. I guess it was more of a breakdown than anything else. But if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Or if you learned something, hit the like button. Let me know. Um, I do have a question for you guys. If you guys enjoy me either going step by step through the process of making something or do you guys prefer me making something than breaking it down to the core elements so you can learn much faster just i guess two different methods of teaching here on youtube i want you guys to enjoy all these videos the best you can anyway if this is the first video you've ever seen awesome if you've seen more than one of these videos before Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We're now in a relationship. Let's make it official. I'm Eugene Cap, and this is Cap and Design TV. 
I will see you in the next video.